Hey everyone, it's Quentin from QP Tech, and it's been entirely too long since we did some uh, tutorials, so I thought I would go through some quick, simple things. The first thing is how to use these cables. Uh, you can see these wires running every which way, and that is the new wiring system. Uh, eventually would replace uh, Oh, I don't even have the old wires here. Uh, these guys, which I've renamed now to ground cables. So these are the old wires that would uh, you connect. Uh, let's grab a generator and something to use the power. Sure. So the old way, which still works is to link these things together. Pretty straightforward. The only problem, which ended up being a big problem, is if you start adding piles and piles of these wires, every one of them does a tiny bit of processing, but you'll quickly uh, end up with a lot of lag. So I made this wiring system, which is a bit like immersive engineering, if you're uh, familiar with that except you don't necessarily need a node. You can, well, let's just show you. So I have in my hand some cable, so I'm gonna right click on the source and right click on a destination. You can see it used up the cable and now these two are connected. So I don't know if you could see on the soft metal punch, you could see direct power links to. Uh, right now, only each device can only have one connection but as the, uh, so this is actually linked to here. It can't link to anything else, but this could have multiple devices linked to it. I'll show you, uh, let's get another one. And I need a bunch, of, oh yeah. I also moved the cables because they're more than just a part. They're kind of like an important piece now. So let's put down another one another one so if I try to link from here to here you can see it's dropped that cable and now this guy is connected to here uh, you always start at the you kind of it's backwards a bit you start at the destination and then click on the source so this holds the connection to here so if I start there and go there it's no problem we can link them all up and then if you want, you can actually uh, hook up from there to there. So these devices all are connected on the same little network. And it also still works if you put a bunch of devices beside each other, then power is flowing through all the way to there. And then when you break these devices or change their connection, they should drop their cable. So in order to make the cable, we'll have to cover that in another video because that involves the expanded use of the mixer. So anyways, that's how to use the new cables. Uh, I think you'll find they're a lot, uh, let's have a look. They're definitely a lot more uh, useful. Oh, I used to have different connectors up here. I was gonna show you these connections, but Unfortunately, I erased the old object that I was using, but I can still show you. The cable, like if you wanted to build wire plates this far out, then like it sort of be good luck with that. <laughs> but as you can see, we can connect that, no problem. And actually, as soon as you right click, it's sort of storing in memory where you want that connection to go. So you can go like quite a long ways off and it'll still remember as long as you haven't shut down your computer or whatever. So you can see this, the three devices are on the network. So let's go all the way over there 
And I guess the main limitation is uh, what chunks are loaded. Now, if you do happen to link uh, to a chunk that's not loaded, it shouldn't really do anything bad. Obviously, it's not going to be able to power devices that aren't loaded. But as soon as you load the chunk back in, it should be fine. So let's actually try this. I think this uh, this guy needs to join the modern era. So there we go. We can wire that all the way through. And actually you can see, unlike like an immersive engineering in uh, Minecraft, I'm not doing checks to see if the wires are colliding with anything. They'll just go straight through. Like these wires are just created on the fly, the renderer. They don't really exist in the game space at all. There's no collision or anything. But anyways, hopefully this adds a lot of flexibility to your builds and uh, I hope you enjoy using them.